Hi, I'm Ramina Percy and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission takes us over the Amazon River. The river can be seen meandering through one of the most vital ecosystems in the world, the Amazon rainforest in South America. This image has been processed in a way that shows water bodies, such as the Amazon River, in blue. The river begins its journey in the Andes and makes its way east through six South American countries before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean on the northeast coast of Brazil. The river has a length of around 6,400 kilometers, the equivalent of the distance from New York City to Rome. The Amazon is considered the widest river in the world with the width of between 1.6 and 10 kilometers, but expands during the wet season to around 50 kilometers. At this part of the river pictured here, the width of the Amazon is around three kilometers before shrinking further down to one kilometer. With more than a thousand tributaries, the Amazon River is the largest drainage system in the world in terms of the volume of its flow and the area of its basin. As a consequence of its ever-changing flow, older riverbeds can be seen as thin lines around the main river at the top of the image. One of the Amazon's tributaries, the Javari River, is visible as a thinner blue line weaving through the tropical rainforest. The river flows for 870 kilometers, forming the border between Brazil and Peru before joining the Amazon River. Several oxbow lakes can also be seen around the river. In the image, cities and built-up areas are visible in Cyan. For example, the cities of Tabachinga and Lechizia, with two airports, are easily identifiable in the far right. The yellow and orange colors in the image show the surrounding Amazon forest. The colors of this week's image come from the combination of two polarizations from the Copernicus Sentinel-1 radar mission, which have been converted into a single image. As radar images provide data in a different way than a normal optical camera, the images are usually black and white when they're received. By using a technology that aligns the radar beams sent and received by the instrument, either vertically or horizontally, the resulting data can be processed in a way that produces colored images such as the one featured today. This technique allows for a better distinction of features on the ground. And that brings us to the end of this edition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the European Space Agency channel. I'm Ramina Percy from ESA Web TV Studios and thank you for watching.